Hi everyone. This is first of tutorials about new functions of Adobe After Effects CS6. Today we'll see how it works new ray traced 3D rendering in After Effects. First create new composition. Other settings depends on you. I set full HD resolution and frame rate to 30 frames per second. Choose Type Tool and write your text. Next make from your text 3D layer. Click on 3D cube in layer bar. Now is your text 3D. In the upper right corner is function for switch rendering mode. You have the choice of classic 3D and ray traced 3D. In ray traced options you can choose from ray tracing quality and anti-alias filter. Better quality means slower rendering but smoother image. I set quality to 6 but this is quite good quality. Now is your scene rendering with ray trace. Now we give depth of text. Move on to your text layer, geometry options and change extrusion depth. I change depth to 174. Now text has not any shadows. You must create new layer of light. Go to layer, new, and create light. Set the color of sun and click to OK. Now I explain differences between use GPU or CPU. Go to Edit, Preferences, Previews and GPU Information. When you have used GPU rendering you must have NVIDIA graphic card with CUDA cores. When you didn't have NVIDIA graphic card you must use only CPU. CPU rendering is slowly than GPU. Next option is Texture Memory. This depends on your graphic card. I set to 500. Now is seen rendering with CPU. Now you see how slowly is the CPU rendering is. I must switch view resolution to third because only one little move is rendering too long. GPU rendering is better way how to use ray traced rendering in After Effects. I must come back to GPU rendering because I can't work with this slow CPU rendering. I can switch back to full resolution of view. Now I will show you other functions and options of ray trace rendering and make some simple animation. First create new light layer. Go to layer, new and create light. This time we use blue color. Take your light and move backward to text. Turn the light that shone as if from behind. Now make text some realistic. 
Go to your text and go to material options. You have many options in this place as real 3D program. I make some changes and create little bit translucent and shiny material. Now you create some simple animation. I created simple movement from one side to other side. Press 0 or space when you have render our scene in view. Rendering will take some time. OK rendering is finished and this is final result of demonstration new 3D function of After Effects CS6. OK this is end of first part tutorials about new functions of CS6. Thank you for watching and don't forget subscribe.